Oh my gosh. New vlog camera. <gasps> She's back. Oh. Wow. Did I miss you guys? Good morning. We're vlogging. We are vlogging today. It's been a long time. I'm not gonna think about it too much. I'm just gonna bring the camera along with me and we are going to vlog. It is Tuesday morning. Yesterday was Memorial Day, so we're starting off the work week on Tuesday. If you guys see me like literally puffy eyed, I don't normally have allergies, but I'm 90% positive that I'm having an allergic reaction because like my eyes are on fire and it happened as soon as I walked outside, so. We did no makeup today. I've also wore makeup all weekend long, so I kind of just wanted to give my face a break. Anyway, I shouldn't drive while doing this, huh? You guys, it's been a long time. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you guys so much. Um, and I, like I said, I just don't want to think about it too much. I just want to get back into it and vlog and just talk to you guys and show you what's been going on because I really, I've just been overthinking it way too much and that stopped me from creating and sharing with you guys because I feel like it wasn't the content that I wanted to share. But especially like more recently in the past three weeks, like life has been crazy. Uh, I've like been going to different galas and speaking at events and planning events. And I'm like, this is stuff that I should be like recording and vlogging and showing people or even just like documenting for myself. I'm like, I'm missing out on a whole chunk of life of me documenting because I'm not where I want to be in life. So um, this is like the first step to that, showing you guys my new job because it's a big part in like how my life is different now life is different that's so dramatic it's not I mean it probably is different because I haven't really truly fully like vlogged my everyday life in about like less than a year more than a year a year and a half how did we get here <laughs> so things are things are different um not too different but things are different so I'm gonna show you guys it's starting off with my new job so I work at like a pediatric specialty um type of office where there's a various different specialties in like one building and it is like the clinicals for a children's hospital so it's also in Virginia I didn't get into any medical schools I was like I cannot be here for another year at my old job I was like if I have to work for another year I can't be here this environment is way too toxic so I want to do something different this is just a spark note version but I got a soft job offer for a research job quit my job that job offer fell through so then I had to go back on the job market but this time I had a little bit more knowledge of what I wanted and what I didn't want so I decided to take this position um, I don't love it it still has like pros and cons but it's temporary like that's the name of the game with this job is that it's temporary so there's some things that I'm giving up and there's some things that I'm receiving from it overall it's like very chill I'm not stressed at all that work I can do a lot of other things and multitask during work the worst part about it um, one of the worst parts about it is that it's in Virginia. So that's where we're traveling to today. I left the house at 7 a.m. today, which is like perfect timing. Um, but I also like didn't put any makeup on and I also had breakfast meal prepped. So that's how I was able to get out of the house. This is like my breakfast skillet that I like to make. I need to hurry up before this gets cold, but I'm, I'm hungry, but I just don't have an appetite right now. I don't know what's going on with that. But um, yeah, this is like the breakfast scramble. I made it for my MCAT. We're not gonna speak of the M word. <laughs> not now, not here, not today. But um, in those videos, I showed you guys me making this breakfast skillet and um, it's a part of like my weekly reset. So if I start off my week correctly, I'll go ahead and make my breakfast skillet. Sometimes I get tired of it and I'll just make breakfast every morning, but I'm definitely a breakfast person. If you guys are new here, if you're new here, what's up? Welcome, my name is Greenwood. Welcome to the channel, oh my gosh. <laughs> but um, if you guys are OG, you know that I, I like breakfast. I like to eat breakfast like every single morning. I feel like my mornings are off if I don't eat breakfast, but since I have to, it's interesting. I don't have to be at work until 8.30, but because my work is 50 minutes away, but I have to take 95, again, I go to Virginia, so if anybody's like familiar with the area, 
it takes me like an hour and 15, sometimes an hour and 30 to get to work, which is very different from my other job, which was five to 10 minutes away. Like very, very different. So having to wake up earlier and like really be on my morning routine, like if you're late and you have to hit traffic, it makes a big difference rather than if you're late and like you have two lights, skirt, skirt, like you can make it before your first patient. So I've definitely been late a lot um just trying to get the hang of things at first i was giving myself like 7 25 7 30 to leave and i was like late every time and then i bumped it up to 7 15 and sometimes i'll be on time sometimes i'll be late and then now i'm like okay if i can try and leave by seven if there's no traffic i'll get there like really really early and then if there isn't traffic then i'll get there like right on time and i'd rather just like not be stressed while i'm driving because that's one of the worst parts like the drive is already long which is pretty annoying but i find things to do that's my alarm to leave the house now to start the commute and i'm already on the road i've been driving for like 15 minutes now so i'm doing great with timing i'll definitely be on time to work just depends on how early and another good thing about this job is that it really is like 8 30 to 5 um I kind of leave at 4.30 and if I show up early, I leave early as well, just depending on what the doctor's um, schedules are like. Sorry about this lighting right now, I'm going through whatever. But So that's also pretty good about it. It's like if I get there early, I can leave early-ish. Like nobody's really there to watch me clock in and out. So as long as all the doctors are done for the day and sometimes they end as oh a crosswalker today see if i was running late that would that would be my 13th reason <laughs> like that would probably drive me crazy if i had to like stop for somebody to cross the road poor baby like we're just passing a school so there's a neighborhood right here i would i would be freaking out if i was running late like move this kid is just walking to school <laughs> but like I would be so stressed out every morning because I'm like trying to rush, trying to rush, trying to get there because, you know, you don't want to be late. But it's really interesting because they have a staggered coming in, which is different than at my old job where like we all had to be there at 745. You all have your own doctors. And so if your first patient is 8 a.m., everybody basically had a patient at 8 a.m. Some days you would get lucky you didn't have an 8 a.m. patient, but otherwise like you need to be ready by 8. Whereas here, they have patients as early as 7 a.m. And then sometimes I'll get there at 8.30 and I don't have a patient until 9. So it really is kind of chill because there's somebody who's supposed to come in at 7, somebody who comes in at 7, no, there's supposed to be somebody who comes in at 7.30, 8, and then 8.30. So I'm the 8.30 person, I'm the late shift. I would love to get there at 8 o'clock and be able to leave at 4.30, but just with the commute, I just realized like, I'd have to leave at 6.30. And what I like to do in the morning times, like it takes me a good hour to do everything that I wanna do especially if I don't like shower at night times, but I'm trying to get better at. Last week, I showered four out of the five times at night. This week, well, we only have four days of the week, so let's just try and keep that streak going and shower at night time four times. Um, that really helps me out. And like I said, having my breakfast meal prepped, sometimes even my lunch meal prepped, things like that make it easier in the morning. So that's what I'm really just working on right now. Um, sustainability, like not living a lifestyle where I can't sustain it. Like I wanna be able to just be consistent every day and not feel like I'm off every day. Like I wanna feel on every day. And if I have an off day, like that's okay. Um, anyway, a lot of rambling in this vlog. Get ready for that just because we have to catch up. And so yeah, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to show you guys today. As the week goes on, I'll probably be able to show you like more at work. But just in general, I work in the endocrinology department mainly like that's our home base on our floor we have pediatric gynecology um gastro intro intro gastro gi <laughs> oh my gosh that's another thing i need to update you guys on this isn't my car that i'm driving this is my mom's car that i'm driving to work today which is different i've never done this before that's why i was like I literally have to vlog this week because stuff be happening and like my life is more interesting than I give myself credit for and a lot of people want to vlog and they feel like if they're not living the black girl luxury lifestyle <laughs> or just whatever if you feel like your life just isn't like interesting enough more times than not you do have interesting things going on that makes your life 
and your days interesting, but they just don't seem that interesting to you. But like this, like I'm driving a new car to work today, which is like kind of exciting because her car has CarPlay and yeah, so it's just something different just to add a little razzle dazzle to your life. So I'm driving her car to work today. And then also one thing that I was excited about when it comes to like working in Virginia, the reason why I like took this job offer is because for my last practice, they did have an office in Arlington which is like Northern Virginia, like right outside of DC, but the Virginia part of outside of DC. And it like has really cute areas that you could walk to for lunch and it, it gave city vibes and it just made me feel less like I was this random suburban girl trying to get into medical school, but more so like I was a healthcare professional in this city. <laughs> so when I got this job offer, I was like, oh, that's great. But this one is in Fairfax, which is also, but like not as quite. Still the good part about Northern Virginia or really just anywhere other than Southern Maryland is that they have more things available like food options that are healthy and gyms and stuff. So I've been working here for about a month and a half now, but a good month of that I've just been like literally just showing up and just trying to make it. I was competing for pageants for two weeks of it. Like I said, I've had a lot going on so I really haven't been able to like fully be there at work invested. I've just been showing up, doing the bare minimum, getting my check and like living my life outside of work. But I love that for me, honestly. I wanted to tell you guys about how I'm going to go to a gym class for the first day today, which is another reason why I wanted to vlog this week. So there is an Orange Theory nearby never done orange theory before but you guys know i was working out like at our home gym in the garage but when i have to drive if i leave at 4 35 even though i get off of work earlier my drive and my commute is so long that i still get home at the same time so it's weird it's like i'm not working as long but i i still don't get home until 6 p.m so it, again, it's really hard to get home at 6, especially after driving for an hour and a half and like try and work out. So I figured that it would be nice if I went to the gym in Virginia right after work, especially because I'd be able to try like Orange Theories and F45s or yeah, F45s is what it's called or like maybe even Pilates. So I'm going to try some of those now. And we are in prep for Miss Marilyn. Miss Marilyn is less than or like exactly three weeks away. I think it's a really good time to switch over to get back into doing like cardio and weightlifting and I've actually never been to like an official gym gym before I've never had a gym membership I've always just like worked out at home or I worked out at my apartment but mainly at home so I'm excited for like this new shift and this change and stuff and I'm excited to take you guys along with me for our first time going to Orange Theory I feel like Orange Theory sounds crazy it always sounds like very just like high intense but I think if I did like a good three week shred like if I ate really clean and I worked out just about every day then I would feel just really healthy and fit for Miss Marilyn. I've been babbling for 15 minutes now and I don't want this video to be too long but again I know I won't be able to talk too much at work because the environment is just a little bit different to where I don't have a lot of time alone there's always just like kind of somebody around and I haven't told them about my YouTube channel and I'm not gonna tell them about my YouTube channel I'll try and film when nobody's there that way I can show you guys around and otherwise I'm just happy to, just to be back and talking to you guys and if you're excited and happy to see me too make sure to give me a thumbs up if you for some reason unsubscribed I don't know why that would happen but make sure you subscribe and if you're new subscribe too and yeah let's get into this week in the life of a pediatric endocrinology medical assistant really just a week in my life let's go
like 12 o'clock now. I came outside to eat lunch. They have this really cute white cork out here. And normally there are not too many people out here, but of course today. Well, luckily today has been going really well. Um, the schedule was pretty booked since it's the day after the holiday, but we had a lot of cancellations and then one no show. So my first patient like wasn't until 9.30. So again, like I got there exactly at either. I ended up making a wrong turn on my way to work and then I still got here on time. That's the good thing about leaving early. Like I wasn't stressed. I made it on time and then I literally had between 8.30 and 9.30 to just like do nothing because the first person who comes in like they prep all the rooms for the day so I was just like getting my stuff together preparing for like future patients um there's like a you're supposed to be doing pre-charting in between your patients which I do do but I don't have access to everything just yet and then also doesn't take me that long to pre-chart like it does for other people or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I don't spend all my time pre-charting. So you guys saw that like I would basically set up my weekly planner on Notion. And I'll just see like what I have to do for the week and stuff like that. So I did that in the morning time. We only had four patients. One of them. You can press the button right there. Really? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> You're welcome. So yeah, um, my stomach is raw and I'm hungry. But yeah, the morning was really chill. Today, in the meantime, I was doing um, like basically writing answers to commonly asked platform questions um, that my pageant coach gave me. So I was working on that in between patients. Another big thing that's very different from this job versus my last job is that we don't have like a set time for lunch. So at my previous job, we went from lunch from 1 to 2. If you didn't have a 1230 patient, like you were really good to go. And you guys know I would go home during my lunch breaks like almost every single day. And even if you wanted to go out to eat like an hour, you can do some things. Okay, I would take naps. Like I would do a lot of things for that hour. This time there's not a set lunch period and I only have 30 minutes. So where I'm located at, I've tried to get food one time and it was a headache like couldn't leave where I'm at in my building like catch the elevator go to the parking garage get in my car drive to the place wait in the line come back go like I did not have enough time to eat at all so if I don't have my lunch prepared for me I do have to like order food in which is like convenient but I'm the kind of person where I don't like to pay for delivery fees like it's just so much extra like Chick-fil-a may cost you normally seven to ten dollars but then it costs you 15 because you get it delivered and then you have to give a tip so it really just adds up it makes me more disciplined in packing my lunch and i've gone back to eating freshly's for my lunch this would be a great time for this to be sponsored but freshly doesn't like to sponsor nobody but these are basically um pre-packaged meals that you can warm up and i basically buy like four of these a week and then the other day or sometimes i'll buy Sometimes I'll buy four and I'll do like two fresh leaves and two salads or whatever. This one is the pesto, cauliflower, shells, and sausage with grape tomatoes and broccoli. It's one of my favorites. It's pretty good. So yeah, I'm just going to eat today. I have 30 minutes to eat. I left at 12 since I was really hungry and it's already 12.17. So like, yeah, 30 minutes goes by really fast. Talked about this on the podcast as well, but... As a part of my social impact initiative as Miss Cumberland competing for Miss Maryland, I am organizing my own March for Babies, which is like a 5K walk. And it's a lot of work. And one thing that I'm really nervous about is like nobody's going to show up. It feels like you're throwing a big party and you just want everybody, you know, to show up and support you. And I'm like, I don't know if people are going to come. And so it's the week of, it's the Saturday. So it's like grind time. But it's also like at this point, I've done almost as much as I can so I don't want to stress about it like at this point like if people are going to come they know about it they're going to come and if they don't come they don't come it is what it is but I am like trying to maybe like get it on the news on the radio and so I had a connect who reached out to me this morning and then they gave me the connect to somebody on a radio station I was thinking about calling them during lunch um, I felt like you know noon would be a good time to call them but I only have 10 minutes to talk so I don't want to not be available even though my next patient is not until 1 p.m so like i could technically go late like my manager stopped by <laughs> to see us and i was sitting there doing work so as far as she concerned you know i worked all day she doesn't know if i showed up late or whatever but 
I only do that if I have to. I don't I don't have to take an extra 30 minutes for lunch today. Um, so I'll probably just call after work, especially since I have some time before I have to go to Orange Theory. And um, yeah, I'm gonna eat my lunch and I'm gonna head back to work and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so I just left work. Today was a good day. I thought it was gonna be really busy, but it was honestly kind of chill. Had a lot of patients canceled. Um, so I got a lot of personal work done, which is my favorite kind of work day. And um, the doctor kind of like stayed around to leave. So I didn't get to show you guys our work areas, but instead of it being like an MA office, like it was in my last job, there's just like a row of computers and we all sit there and they're like mini cubicles but like you can see each other I don't know what it's called like a flat leg cubicle section and so the doctors sit there some of them do um, the doctor who I ran today I absolutely adore her like she is so nice and just pleasant like there she's so great to work with there's a lot of different providers too but they don't work every day so like we normally have three at max like four providers um, in the endo department per day so today we had three of them and then like one was virtual so we had three MAs there and there's like two of us who are in the endocrinology MA department one who kind of floats there used to be a third one but she like stopped coming to work <laughs> Anyway, I don't know, that's not my business. The purpose is that I had a really great day. Um, I got a lot of my stuff done, working on my social impact pitch and my interview questions. And yeah, I left a little bit later because the doctors were like still there. And I hate to like leave before them, but I'm also like, y'all could be here all day if you want to. I get off at five, so I'm leaving. <laughs> and now I'm on my way to Orange Theory. It's about five minutes away, so I should make it there at 5.15. My class doesn't start until 5.45, I believe, so they just told you to be there early, so that'll give me enough time to use the bathroom, fill up my water bottle, change my clothes, and figure out the lay of the land, so. I'm a little bit nervous about class, but I think that that's, that's fair, you know? I'm not so nervous that I don't wanna go, but like my heart is definitely beating fast. But obviously it's like something new and different. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'll try and record as much as I can for you guys so that uh, you can see what I'm going through. <laughs> and I'm also really hungry. I should have brought a snack. Um, yeah, like the drive home is going to be kind of miserable because I'm gonna be starving and I don't have dinner prepared oh I do I do have left oh I have left off eyes. I have a meal prep that I didn't eat on Friday thank you Jesus so I can eat that even though I need to go to the grocery store today I'll figure it out Okay y'all, so I finished my first class. Don't hate me, but I didn't vlog anything. I'm obviously vlog shy because I'm new here and I don't know what to expect. But uh, the class went good. I'm nervous, you guys know I've like pulled my hamstring. So I was really nervous because I haven't like worked out with my hamstring being pulled. I've just like danced on it and I felt fine the whole time. But then literally as soon as we stretched, I was like, oh, this thing hurts. And now I'm walking and I kind of like, I feel it. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. Um, there was a parking garage, so that's great because parking's free for two hours. So, and that was just a short little walk to the parking garage. And let's see how many calories I burned because that was really important. My teacher was really nice. It was a black woman, which I didn't expect. And I'm like, yes, love that for me. She was really nice. Okay. Overall, I liked the class. Um, so if you guys aren't familiar with Orange Theory, you basically like start off with, well, there's like three different areas of class. There's row, then there's like floor work. Hold on, let me put on the air conditioning. Rowing, there's floor work, which is like doing weights or TRX or squats or like normal circuit type training and then there's the treadmill and so I feel like doing the three areas I really liked that because as soon as I kind of like got tired it was time to move on to the next thing um, I didn't sweat that much so yeah I felt like my heart rate didn't go above 165 which I was surprised about like when I think of orange theory I think like they're gonna kill you and, da -da -da -da, and like in the red but I felt like it was a good 
it was a good challenge it was a good push i could like push myself more but like i said i haven't like worked out like lifted weights and stuff in a minute so i wanted to like go slow but i think it did really good overall i think the thing on the board said that i <laughs> By words freeland words the board said that i burned 550 calories which i think is pretty good for like an hour and it didn't i don't know it just didn't feel as hard i think it's easier to push when you go to class you guys know like when i was in grad school i took advantage of that gym at my school like i went almost every single day like i tried to go like five days a week if not like four because i just work better in a class setting like you just take your mind off of stuff and you don't have to think too hard and yeah so i liked it i don't know if i'm gonna like pay for the membership and do that um i may because like i could possibly get like a, a month free but i also want to try out f45 which is also close to here but it's just like in another shopping center so i may try that one out first and then see which one i like best and then end up doing like the subscription for that one so yeah that's just one thing i'm really excited about that i can like drive five minutes after work i'm happy that i even have options there's even like a core yoga across the street from my job too so like if I was really balling, I could do like three days doing like Orange Theory and like one day doing core yoga and then like one day being a rest day and like I can get my nails done out here. I'm gonna get my nails done one day this week too because um, it's time for a fill. Well, like a dip, a redip fill. These are like my natural nails. Y'all know how I do. They grow on strong, y'all. Anyway, so let me go ahead and go home. I'm going to, it's seven o'clock now. Um, we'll see how I feel. Oh, let's see how traffic is. Cause that's one thing too. Wow, this face. Oh my gosh. What in the world? Are you guys one of those weird people that like sneeze multiple times? Like I, I, rem I met somebody, I don't remember who it was, who every time they sneeze, they sneeze three times every time. And I thought they were lying, but they weren't. Like every time they sneeze three times and I thought it was like pretty interesting. Um, anyway, <laughs> that was random. Where's my phone at? I really wanted to record in there for you guys, but like because I was new, they, they had somebody with me the whole time. So like as soon as I walked in, she literally had something there that's like Breland and I had to like fill out paperwork and then she like toured me and then she like dropped me off to the coach and then the coach talked to me and toured me around and like showed me how to do the rowing thing. It was really great. I felt like I not only knew what I was doing, but like they were just very helpful. Like I didn't feel like lost and like, oh my gosh, it's my first time I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I didn't have any time to like pull out my phone, let alone my camera. So, you know, that was a little bit awkward. Oh, and it's 55 minutes to get home right now, which is just great. Like it's just less time driving. And I got a workout in. We'll just see how I feel. If I get back to Waldorf and I feel like I want to go grocery shopping, I will since I have dinner prepared. I don't need like a lot of food, so it should be a quick trip. So I'm going to try and put it in my mind to do that. And then I can just go home, eat dinner, shower, and like go to bed. And that'll be a very accomplished day. And then tomorrow I'll cook dinner. But going grocery shopping and meal prepping after working out i think that's like asking for too much also i did pack pre-workout with me like just the powder and i was gonna put water in here but um i didn't show you guys i was drinking a powder like a celsius to go energy drink today i filled it up to like about here so i drank about a little bit over half of it um but I didn't feel like I needed the pre-workout. I'm sure it would have helped, but I get scared drinking pre-workout too late in the evening. Like I wanna go to sleep tonight. That would just like, it would just ruin my week if I didn't get good sleep tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go home, try and go grocery shopping, then eat dinner and then check out. So it's been a long but productive day and I'm very happy about it. I don't mind letting you down easy, but just give it time. Don't hurt now, but just wait, just wait a while And not the big fish in the pond, no more, no more. You were what the feet did not So what are you gonna do when the world don't open up around you? been able to pick up the camera I'm on my last patient now and I decided I could show you guys this so this is the lab here which is really cool 
Working with endocrinology, one of the patients that we see a lot are diabetes patients. So we have to get their blood glucose levels. So we have to like do a finger prick on them, and then we test their blood glucose, and we also do an A1C. This patient does not have diabetes yet, but they're pre-diabetes. So the doctor asked me to go into the room and get a finger print, get a blood sample. So I'm able to show you guys here now. This is basically the machine that I use. And then I got a sample in here, and then I just place it in here, and then I let that run. And that'll basically tell me what the blood glucose is, and then this is also a monitor here that showed me what the patient's um, blood glucose was. So this tells me the A1C, and this tells me the blood glucose. That's the most fun and technical thing that I do for my job, is I literally just get little blood samples and that's it. But I thought I'd show you guys since it's a bit of a kind of slow day. There's only one doctor here and she has a half morning but I'm the only one running her so I've just been running around all morning and there was like a really bad accident so everybody's like running really late and the doctor's running late so kind of just been running around and then also my camera battery was dead. I forgot to charge it because I'm not used to this. So that's my update though. Let's do a scrub outfit of the day. Today we're wearing figs, got the pink mask on. Figs, new balances. Okay. Alrighty, so. So once this finished running, it takes like two to three minutes. I'll put it in the chart for the doctor. I'll probably just log on to the computer here. And then, yeah, that's it. Actually, this can print out a paper. So I'm gonna print out the paper and then bring it to her since she's in the room with the patient right now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm done for the morning. That was my last in-person patient, and um, I have one telemedicine, but when they do telemedicine here, we actually do have to triage them. That's another thing that's different. We didn't have to do that at my last job. Like, telemedicine meant a break and meant free, but here, it means that you actually have to like call the patient and basically do like a phone triage. It's still pretty easy, and if it's one patient, then that's fine. So, yeah, I am going to eat lunch now because it's 12 12 and I'm pretty hungry I was going to make myself coffee today I've been drinking more coffee here because they have like a coffee machine and then they would have like creamer and everything available but it's already 12 and I'm not that tired It is 4.30, I'm leaving work now, okay, oily. <sighs> so, the my job has a parking garage across from the building. So, overall it's great because it's free parking, but um, <laughs> by the time I get here, I have to park on the third floor, but it's okay, it's good exercise. I walk up the steps to my car, but that's what I was telling you guys. It's a lot harder even just to go this is not my car. <laughs> I do that often. Am I not on the third floor? That's not my car. I do that so often. I'm that way. <laughs> there are three people who have Grand Cherokees too. 
And I do that to her car all the time because she has black handles and I have silver handles. And here's my car. <laughs> Ooh, and she is shiny too. My mom washed her yesterday. Oh, when she had my car so she looks great yay and I didn't even mention why my mom had my car yesterday um it was a whole bunch of stuff basically I needed to get my emissions done and I needed an oil change and something else something that's to do with insurance and she basically was just like just give me the car for the day so I just get it all done in one day because I'm just so busy that I keep putting stuff off but like getting to emissions getting back to Maryland after I leave work on a work day like it's impossible even I used to have membership at this like car wash place you pay $30 a month and you can get your car washed like unlimited times and it was like my goal to go like every Friday or every Sunday but child they close on the weekends and then they close at 5 p.m. I cannot get back there by 5 even like on a day like today where I leave early at 4 30 so I had to go ahead and close that membership and so yeah I hadn't um hadn't washed my car in a while and my seat isn't the way it normally be there we go. Anyway, so today was overall a pretty great day. Like I said, my morning was really busy, but the afternoon was chill. So I was able to get a lot of other work done. Um, and I still have more things I need to do when I get home. Like I need to cook today when I get home. I have a committee meeting for the National Alumni Association of Spelman College Health and Wellness Committee. And there's one more thing on my to-do list as well that I need to do, but I can't remember. It's on my to-do list though, I wrote it out. Y'all, oh wait a minute. minute. Y'all, so there is a cycle place. Yo, if there is a cycle place here, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> I'm going to freak out, I love cycle. I bet I'd never heard of that place before. Oh, this is a great park. Hold on. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Excuse me, need a brush pen? Oh, what, what did I just say? What was it? So good. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This drive literally drives me crazy. Like, I think it's worse. I ended up leaving Virginia around. What, 5.30, 5.45, a little bit later, but I thought as long as I wasn't there at like five o'clock, I feel like if I leave at 4.30 or if I leave at 5.30, it should be okay. I don't know if there's an accident. It's 6.45 and I'm still in Virginia. Like I haven't even crossed the bridge yet. Like <laughs> this drive is just so long. I, I hate it so much. Like I watched a whole sermon I'm like, I'm gonna run out of sermons before the next week comes. Like, ugh. it just feels like so much wasted time. I tried to call my best friend, she didn't answer. And then I have a meeting at 7.30 and I'm literally like, wow, I don't think I'm gonna be home by 7.30, which is crazy. Which means I'm gonna have to take the meeting in the car. I'm hungry, I had a snack. Like it's gonna be my new thing, especially when I went to the grocery store yesterday. I was like, I need to get snacks, nothing too crazy, you know, 60 to 100 calories. But this drive is like so long that I have to eat something because I can't wait until I get home at 6 p.m., especially on the nights that I have to cook and then not eat until six. Like I just, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I need a snack. Try to eat my snack. I'm out of water. That's just my complaint for the day. I don't know, I probably complained a lot today. It's a beautiful day, it's like 90 degrees outside. It's like, ah, it's gorgeous. I wish I could like go home and take a walk, but I just have so much to do that, and I wasted two hours in the car, so. Not today. Okay, guys, I'm so excited. I just got home, I had to put a shirt on. And I just got a really exciting package. It's 
from the Sash Company. <laughs> yeah! Oh my gosh. This is no idea. The stress of not having the sash. Here she is, finally my baby. These aren't the new sashes though. I was really nervous this wasn't gonna get here before um, my walk this weekend. So I'm glad that it's here. Third time is the charm. The third crown. <laughs> I thought my meeting with alumni was at 7.30, but it's actually at 8.30. So I'm going to start cooking and I probably won't be, I could, I could possibly be done in time. But either way, I'm going to like be in the meeting without my camera on because I just can't be bothered today, honey. Actually, I need to film a video to promote for the walk and I need to take a content picture. Might as well just do it, especially since I have my sash. I'm so tired. Like, I just want to eat and lay in the bed. But I have responsibilities, so I'll talk to y'all later. Good morning. It is Thursday, 7.18 in the morning. We're on our way to work. Um, I'm taking a little bit of a different way. Like, because traffic is so unpredictable, I, now so let me to turn left here, I put my navigation on every day that I go to work because you never know when it's like, turn here, it'll be faster this way. So that's what I do. Okay, come on guys, let me over, let me over, let me over Xfinity. Anyway, um, I put my hair up in like a little pineapple today because I want to like do a twist out for my event this weekend. I'm so sorry the lighting is trash. Good morning, I'm really excited because I think I told you guys yesterday how my mom ended up having a hookup for somebody who was going to promote my 5K March for Babies on the radio. So it's supposed to be on this morning. So I'm gonna put on the radio and I'm gonna record so I can hear what happens and it'll be exciting. <laughs> I-295 North near NRL for the report. What does Beyonce, Mariah Carey, and Serena Williams all have in common? They've all experienced life-threatening complications during childbirth. That's because the U.S. is the most dangerous developed nation for childbirth in the world. That's one person every 10 minutes. And for black women, that rate is multiplied by three. This is the maternal health crisis where women and babies of color are in danger and need our help. Braylon Hunt, a PG County native, <laughs> maternal health advocate, and a contestant in the Miss Maryland Scholarship Competition is advocating for a change in maternal health care and you can help this saturday join us at the 5k march for babies at watkins regional park in upper marlboro maryland this charity event benefits march of dimes and proceeds will fund research grants for the maternal mortality data collection registration starts at 8 a.m and the 5k begins at 9 be a part of the solution and help save the number of black moms who are dying too soon this saturday at watkins regional park in upper marlboro maryland let's march for babies together Ah, okay, so I heard it. <laughs> my eyes started watering halfway through and I was like, I should have thought about what I was going to do. I recorded it on my phone over here too. And I was like, do, do I smile? Do I? But it was exciting to hear my name on the radio. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, she was like, yeah, just write a synopsis of it and we'll mention it on the radio and it'll come on at 720. And I was like, okay, for sure, I'll do that. But y'all, it was like deadline. Like they told me like, 11 p.m. and I had to have it in by like 3 p.m. and <laughs> so that's what I was working on all day yesterday in the middle of me like running patients which is why I was like running around crazy but today should be ooh, also Thursdays are pretty crazy because Fridays are always really light so you know they make you work for that Friday um, but I think my provider just has a half day today I think I think if so, that'll be great. Um, but in general, there should be kind of like three to four providers. So it'll be kind of busy over there. Not much that I'll be able to talk to you guys about, but yeah. And also I'm like so over my breakfast skillet. Like I still had some more left over and I was like, 
I can't do it anymore. Like I don't want it. I don't want it today. I can't even be bothered. So I ended up just making me a bagel. I'm just gonna eat this bagel and drink some water. And then when I get to work, I'll make some coffee and that should hold me over until lunchtime. I'm about to put on my sermon and enjoy my commute. And I'll talk to you guys when I get to work. Okay, so we're here in the kitchen and I'm about to make my morning coffee. I'm putting you guys here in our little lockers. <laughs> so cute so I'm super excited for today's coffee for two reasons the first is look <laughs> I die look how cute this coffee cup is so I got this off of Amazon I'll leave it linked down below I have a whole like Amazon storefront but normally they have like coffee cups here so they have coffee cups here normally and I mean this is cute it's you know vibey it gives you coffee shop but I was like I mean this is so wasteful you know I love a good reusable something and if I can get it in a color I'm back that was literally my manager who walked in it's like look at my coffee cup <laughs> very awkward so I ended up brewing my coffee because I couldn't just sit around doing nothing but I was saying the other reason why I'm super excited is because I've heard some of my favorite influencers talk about this this is the French vanilla nut pod creamer um, I got mine in oh it's the almond and coconut creamer I got mine in the flavor of French vanilla it's unsweetened and dairy-free um, 10 calories whatever they when I first got here, okay, they had like creamer and sugar and everything here. And so I was making my coffee and it was really, really good. They ran out of creamer, they didn't fulfill it. I just made my coffee, they didn't have enough sugar. Well, they I was putting Splenda in it, they didn't have any Splenda. I'm like, okay, y'all not really doing what y'all was doing before. I, get, I gotta get up out of here because clearly too many people are coming in and out but my coffee is made basically let's give it a taste test I, I accidentally they didn't have the pod that I like and then also I accidentally pressed eight instead of six so I think it's gonna taste a little watered down but it's still the aesthetic it's still the vibe I do not like that. I don't know if it's the creamer or if it's because I didn't use this. This is not what I normally get. It's not tasting good. And I also like my coffee like room temperature, not hot. So I'm actually gonna like leave this open. But anyway. I'm mad, I was really looking forward to this, but this just isn't hitting. I'm not that tired. I'm not like in dire need of caffeine. Sometimes I'm like, yo, I need caffeine today. Um, but I've been trying to like not drink as much of it. And then if I do, I'm like, I'll just drink coffee because I don't mind throwing away half of a cup because it's not my coffee. <laughs> but this time, I'm really gonna drink like just enough to fill a little something. Isn't my hair so cute today? Anyway, <laughs> let me go back to work. All right, y'all. It is finally lunchtime. I decided to come back outside again for lunch today because one, I just like eating outside. I'm getting a little bit cold inside. And then also like, it's finally warm so I can eat out here. And soon it's gonna get like really hot to where it's gonna be like kind of unbearable to eat outside. So I need to eat out here while I can. Have another freshly meal for dinner today or for lunch today, which is lasagna. And I thought about it while I was warming this up. I was like, I definitely could have taken the spaghetti that I made last night. By the way, sorry I didn't really like vlog, but after I filmed my content and then I joined the meeting, then Britt called me and so I was like, I was on the phone with her while I was making dinner. So I didn't really have enough time to chit chat with you guys. But um, yeah, the spaghetti was really, really good. Oh, there are fire ants over here. They are like red hot. 
anyway i'm gonna go ahead and watch a youtube video while i'm out here and um try and plan some content i uploaded a reel on my miss cumberland page today so i wanted to do that last night but for some reason instagram couldn't recognize my captions and i like to upload videos with captions to be inclusive and fair and stuff okay so these ants are freaking me out so i'm gonna step over here the 30 minute lunch thing drives me crazy um 10 minutes are already gone so yeah i'm sorry i haven't been able to really talk to you guys a lot while i'm like in there but it's just like a really it's not a busy day it's just like a lot of providers are here today so like i just don't have enough time where i'm like by myself where i can bring out the camera like there's just always somebody coming around so hello friends we're off from work oh look heroes work here y'all y'all could not see that <laughs> they have like little cups in the fences that spell out heroes work here shout out to my heroes girl y'all still treat us like trash so we don't even matter what's being a who was oh i do have the green light don't do it <laughs> don't do it because i'm not in a rush i'm not in a rush today so i'll take my time buddy don't play why are you about to come to the side and give me the worst finger ever okay he's staying behind me good <laughs> not me being a jerk child anyway just got off work just clocked out it's 4 30 um thank god the last patient didn't show up and the uh nurse practitioner called and was like yeah you're gonna have to reschedule you're gonna have to reschedule you need to respond you need to respond why do i keep doing that <laughs> anyway so um yeah i was like cool i'm out i'm leaving so i'm actually about to go get my nails done right now and i've gone to this place i think about two times this is my third time going it's really packed and busy i'm wondering if i should try somewhere else because um there's probably a lot of other nice places as well that are not as busy it's like it's just the right amount of it's a nice location but it's like so packed and busy that it gives you like that ghetto vibe <laughs> which i like because that means that they just do your nails right and um and they, yeah they I've got, i don't go to a certain person like i go to somebody different every time and it's like it's been solid it's been good like nothing's been wrong with my nails each time this time i got french and i didn't tell her to do the shape of the french like the the deep u smile line like how i like it but i just asked for a french and that's what she gave me so it was cool i can't decide if i want to do something fun i kind of want to do like um like i want to do a pink or purple ombre for my walk this weekend but then i was thinking and i'm like this is my turn no this is not my turn crap this is not my turn okay um or is this my turn no, it's not. <laughs> um but i actually have like a whole photo shoot scheduled for next week so I'm like, if I get them done a fancy color, I'm not gonna like how they look in the photo shoot. So I might as well get them the way that I always get them, either a French or an ombre. And then I actually, I should probably see if they can do the ombre the way that I like it because then after that, I'm getting my nails done for Miss Marilyn. And that needs to be a pink and white ombre because that's my favorite way to get my nails done. And I have to have my nails the way that I want them for my pageant. Like has to be, has to be, has to be has to be right so yeah I'm, i guess i'm gonna go and see if they can do that that way i know if it's right and they'll be ready for my photo shoot and then after that we'll do some fun nails maybe so yeah they kind of been boring for a couple of weeks but the week before that i tried something and it was cute it was like a pink french it was real cute you know anyway so um yeah that coffee was nasty i barely even drank it but i washed out my cup there and i left it so i'm just gonna leave my coffee cup there and whenever i want coffee I can use my little cup and yeah when they get new pods or something I'll try again but I'm like yeah they, they were nasty I don't know if the pod that I chose or the k-cup or whatever was nasty or if it was the nut pod like the I feel like it was the milk I feel like it just wasn't good I'll try one more time just to see just for kicks and giggles anyway um today at work was really boring it really dragged um I wasn't like super busy but yeah i just didn't have as much to do for downtime like i've been so busy the past couple weeks with my 
with my walk and like doing stuff for my pageant but i kind of was like really tired so i didn't feel like i wish i could edit videos while i was there like ugh, that would be so clutch um but yeah i'm like ugh. I don't really have many emails to send or research to do or like letters to write or anything. So I kind of was like, I, I don't really have anything to do in between. And there's just like so much downtime. Oh, I didn't mention about how we see, I think the most I've seen is like 10 patients a day versus like at my old job, we would see, and that's like per provider. No, no, no. I think the most I've seen is like 11, 12, maybe 13. And that's like, okay, I'm tired. I'm seeing somebody. So first off, we see patients every 30 minutes, which makes a big difference in between 15 minutes. And then also when you have to clean the room, you don't have to do too much. Like you literally just have to wipe everything down and change the paper so it's really quick and easy. And it's also like, you just don't feel as like nasty and dirty afterwards, which I really like. And even though each provider only has two rooms, they have so long in between each patient, it feels like, versus like the 15 minute appointments. So I just, I'm, it's like very quick. You can clean a room quickly and then put a patient back in there. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of downtime, which I like, like I said, because it's not stressful and I can do other things. I'm putting on my jacket because it's like a severe thunderstorm morning. Like you guys saw I was outside. It was nice. It was a beautiful day. Child just started thunderstorming and it went on and off and on and off and it's probably gonna happen again um when i leave and i'm also a little bit chilly because the temperature has dropped it's like 76 now and it was 91 earlier crazy anyway here's a before of my nails and i go to mosaic nail spa you guys saw how close that was to my job this is where i go it's a cute little shopping center you know nothing really uh exciting out here food places barbershop yeah so i'm gonna get my nails done and i'm gonna leave you guys here um just so that i don't bring too many things inside i'll show them to you when i come back baby sophie snapped okay what on get into please get it y'all get into it the natural nails are thriving i wanted to like take a video of what they looked like um before she cut them down these are what the i'm just i'm in my prime okay when my natural nails are good like not one acrylic not one tip these are my favorite nails they make me feel like i can take over the world that was by far my best experience here because before I would literally hey here it is oh no it's not the part okay <laughs> actually let me go ahead and start driving because we already know that I got a long drive and uh an hour and 25 minutes ciao oh sometimes it makes the drive shorter to leave later and sometimes it doesn't oh there's a flash flood warning right now you guys can see it's or maybe you can't tell but it's really raining right now um anyway sometimes again like i said because if i leave later it's actually like better so i don't care how long the wait is and i'll go and i'm like okay this is what i have to do for today like today all i really have to do or had to do after work was get my nails done there's some days where i have a lot of things to do but because all I had to do was get my nails done, I'm like, I can wait. Ooh, my nail beds are a little bit sore though with her using the drill. But yeah, I'm like, I'm patient, I can wait. Um, and they're normally really, really busy in there. I think it's because of the rain, why it's not as busy. Still every chair was full, but like she immediately got me when I sat down. Like I, sometimes I've watched like a whole YouTube video, 30 minute YouTube video before they've pulled me back there. She immediately got me. And then she immediately, like, I don't know if it's the way that the last girl, or maybe because my nails are old, or I don't know what it was, but like, when she, first of all, I like that they actually will let the dip soak off, and she won't like rip your nails. That's another reason why my nails have been lasting long, because they don't rip them off every, oh, I'm supposed to turn there, crap. They don't rip them off afterwards, upset. Anyway, I'm literally just like talking about stuff that y'all probably don't care about. You're like, okay, Ree, let me get it, Chanel. So listen, it was a great experience, okay? She was nice to me. She was quick. Like, I didn't even finish. I watched in, there was an hour and nine minute long video from Arnell. And I was like, oh, bet, say less. I'm about to just sit here and watch my little video. I didn't even finish the video. Like, I was in and out in an hour, which is really, really fast, I feel like, for dip. 
I feel like. Anyway, yeah, last time I remember it taking me a really long time. I was there for a while. So my drive is gonna be long and it's raining, so people are gonna be driving slow, but I'm very happy with my nails. I'll definitely be going back there in two weeks to get this again before Miss Marilyn. So I'm glad I thought about that though. And I'm all set for my photo shoot. And I love them, they look great. They're like the perfect length. <laughs> I love to be able to do a good fist ball, but still no, baby got inches. <laughs> all right, let me go. I'm probably being so annoying right now. Good morning. It is the next day. I'm gonna put on some makeup today. <sighs> it's Friday, thank God. And I'm doing a half day today at work. Thank God. So I really just need to get up and get out. But for some reason, I just kept pressing snooze. Like I was having some dream dreams last night. And when I came in, I didn't edit. <laughs> I literally just like, I watched Hulu. I ate dinner. I watched YouTube. I like watch one video. I was on Instagram a lot too. Like I was just scrolling basically until I fell asleep. Which is not my ideal, because you know how I said, oh, we're going to try and, like, take a shower four days. I, I did it one night, which is bad. Like, last week I did good. I did four weeks, four days out of the week. And this time I only did one. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty tired. Wish I would have had a better nighttime routine last night, because then I feel like I'm more prepared when I wake up in the morning. Instead, I press snooze a lot. Like, it's 6.55, and I'm just starting my makeup but it's literally gonna be okay. The great thing about going to work on Fridays is that traffic is significantly lighter on Fridays. Like I can leave as late as like 7.30 sometimes and still make it to work on time because the roads are like practically clear. I guess the people who have the option of like working from home, they just always work from home on Friday or I don't know what it is, but Friday is always really, really light, which is great. I don't want my breakfast to lit again, but I can't choose makeup and making breakfast. And I also wanted to make lunch, like I wanted to make a salad today. These are things that I should have had like prep last night. Like I would love a BLT wrap, but I don't have my tomatoes cut. And that's just something that just takes a little bit of time. Not too much, but I'm spending a little bit of extra time I have this morning doing makeup since like I told you guys, I'm going dress shopping after work today. And then obviously I decided not to do my hair. It's so dirty, but I'm like, this is how I think I want to wear it in my gown. So I should probably just leave it like this. Nails still looking good though. Anyway, it'll probably slow me down to talk to you guys. I just wanted to show you a different bit of scenery to my weekly schedule. Because y'all know the next clip is going to be me in my car. <laughs> And I would show you guys, like I said, me packing my lunch or making breakfast or something, but I just wasn't, I just, I wasn't fully on my game this week. Not completely off. Like I've had worse weeks where I'm like, yo, I'm just showing up. I didn't eat breakfast. I'm ordering out for lunch. Like I'm coming back. I'm ordering something for dinner. Like I've had times where I'm like, I am just not on my game. I'm like semi on my game. It's definitely difficult because I haven't vlogged in a while. So trying to get back to that as well. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup and then um, we'll head to work for our last day of the week. It's Friday! I love Fridays.
mom and dad's only daughter Do I make you proud? Writing my life in lyrics to your life The sound Seeking approval constantly When it's my truth I own I speak it don't make sense now Give it a good yeah. Put that on good When it gets hard I stay on my job Like no days off So you can go cool With it Jump off My bad Cause I've been working all day Can a nigga catch a break have to film this way because we have these huge windows behind us so the lighting is this way but um, one thing I didn't mention is that today I actually won't be in the endocrinology department I'll actually be in the GI department today this is my second time working in GI my first time was interesting not looking forward to it today but I'm only doing a half day and I'll be with the girl who trained so funny about this area like so you guys can see i'm like tucked off nobody can like see my computer when i'm sitting here and the other girls will sit there and the doctors will sit there but like you can hear when somebody's walking down the hallways so if i'm doing something i'm not supposed to be doing I'm like walking and then i'll be like oh i hear somebody coming and i'll start working really fast so sometimes if you see me walking and then all of a sudden i just go because I feel like I hear somebody walking down the hallway. Anyway, so GI is like, it's the same thing, but like on that side of the hallway. And um, I got here really early because like there was no traffic. The drive was beautiful. And it's like 8.20 now. I've been here since 8.11. So I'm not going to walk over there until exactly 8.30. And like, this is like my desk, my area. Like I can put my stuff here. I'm gonna leave my stuff here and then just walk over there when it's time to actually start working. But first I'm gonna check in and see what the schedule looks like, see how many patients we have, make sure that all the patients have everything for the day. Um, I didn't really explain that either, but that's a really big part of what the MAs here do. They like make sure that the medical records are sent out for new patients and that they have been received. And it's like really your job to get all of those records in before the patient is seen. Before, that was like a front desk job at my last job and we would just focus on the patient care. But this time, like we'll do a lot of phone calls, a lot of sending faxes, receiving faxes, organizing the faxes, getting them into the charts. So it's a lot of administrative work. That's what you're doing when you're like sitting at the desk the whole time i don't have full access to do everything yet so i can't prep the charts as much as i should be able to right now so that's why i have so much downtime because like i can send a fax but i can't put it in a chart once i receive it so gi also sees patients once every 30 minutes sometimes the appointment times are 45 minutes so I'm going to go ahead and open up our EMR, which we use Epic, and I'm going to try and see how many patients she has for the morning. 
so this is what epic looks like and these dots over here on the side are correlated with this and it lets me know if the records have been received or not i did not prep for her so her first patient is not going to be here until 8 45 and so i need to basically go through and make sure that they have everything that they need for the doctor because yeah none of this stuff has been looked up so i gotta do that now okay so looking at the different type of patients i'm a little nervous because the ages are what make the big difference so our first patient is at 8 45 it's an 11 year old perfectly fine next one is at 9 15 that's a 10 year old perfectly fine 9 45 14 year old fine then it goes to eight year old and then at 10 45 we have a five month old five months that's going to give me a lot of trouble because the babies are crying and they're whining and like you have to get their head circumference and there's like different things you have to do when the baby is like a baby baby and then we have a three-year-old and then a two-year-old so the 1045 11 15 and 11 45 are all going to be pretty difficult because by the time you're three and you're two years old you're strong you're crying you're whining like you can stand up but you can also like fight back so i'm a little bit nervous about them um Okay, so I just grabbed my first two patients. The first one was late, the second one was early, so they were back to back, but it's cool. So I'm back over here in the endo section and I'm about to work on some other things until my next patient comes. Okay, y'all, it is 11.55 now. I just saw my last patient. The last one was the worst one, like I thought, because she was two years old. And first of all, she was sleeping, and the mom like had was like carrying her. And I was like, okay, you have to wake her up because she has to stand on the scale. I have to get her height. And she was like, well, she's sleeping. First of all, she was Spanish-speaking. So another thing about this practice is that we're in a heavily Spanish-speaking area, I feel like, but in general, they accommodate different languages here very well, but it's just very difficult because instead of talking to a whole bunch of like grown black women, you're talking to people of just all different ethnicities with a whole bunch of different languages. And so we often have to like call an interpreter or there will be interpreters like here in person that'll come and so she was supposed to have an interpreter spanish speaking but the interpreter like they were early and like the doctor moves really fast and so i was like i should probably just like call the interpreter on the phone of course it's easier when somebody's there in person versus like talking on the phone so i went to go get her then the interpreter showed up Anyway, so the girl was sleeping. I'm like, okay, you have to wake her up. Of course, she's cranky when she's waking up, so she's just screaming her head off and, like, not trying to stay still. And you just have to, like, wrestle the little kids, which is the reason why I've decided that I don't really like pediatrics that much because they're just, they're either really scared or they're cranky or they don't they don't understand like that you are the good guy and you're there to help them or that, like, I'm not going to give you the shot. So they're just, like, crying, crying, crying. And so I literally, like, even when I'm getting her temperature, like, I just have to put the little thermometer underneath her arm like this just to get auxiliary. Like, it's not hurting you. Nothing I'm doing is going to hurt you. But they don't understand that. They can't comprehend. So they're just, like, crying, crying, crying. And I'm like, I just hate hearing the sound of babies crying. I talked about this before i think but but especially with me being like the youngest child you know that we have like no babies in my family the only baby in my life is brit's son like i don't do well with like hearing babies cry it's like nails on a chalkboard for me so to have to like deal with the patient and like still have to move fast but then a baby is crying that's like the worst part of this job which is why i'm like hmm, pediatrics not quite for me so the good thing is though, and the reason why I really didn't want to do GI today is because the first time I ran over there in GI, I ran this provider and she was like, it was like my third day and she was pretty mean to me. 
and everybody in the endo department like all the doctors are so nice they're literally so sweet and she was kind of just like i know this is like only your third day here but you just need to move a little bit faster but she had all new patients and they were all babies and like they all need interpreters it was like a triple whammy so i was kind of like okay i feel like that was rude for you to say something like that to me because i don't have any help like i'm just trying to figure it out like whatever but she ended up having like her own issues that day so i just let it slide and then today she brought in cupcakes so i'm like and these are bunt cupcakes which are really really good so i said okay you know what i'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and today she was fine so now that it's noon and i'm starving since i didn't eat breakfast i'm gonna eat my lunch my manager put me on the calendar to kind of like leave at one and i don't have to leave until like 1 20 to get to the dress shop today so i'm gonna eat my lunch then eat my dessert and honestly just chill prep a little bit for monday and then i'm gonna leave for the day so yay <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I left work and now I'm headed to my weekend plans. I'm going to start another vlog right now, so make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. If you love this vlog, let me know in the comments down below. Follow me on my social media at Breland Hunt, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure you live each day to the fullest because you only live once. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!